Hi, it's Eliana here, and today I am going to be discussing the process of writing an ebook and what that was like for me. Um, it took about a year and a half. I'm a crystal healer, and I work with different crystals in terms of pendulums for healing, crystal wands. I've made crystal wands myself. A number of times and I've made a pendulum as well and I've had crystals, citrine crystals fall and break and um, and I was like wow uh, I feel so sad that this crystal fell but now it has nice sharp edges where you can glue stuff on like metal leaves and stuff and make um, little symbols and stuff so I've 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 experimented f with making different types of pendulums with crystals and um, metalwork and stuff so it's really for me crystals even if something breaks in terms of a crystal it doesn't mean the energy is broken or lost within the crystal it can be repurposed for making a pendulum and pendulums can be made of metal, wood, or crystals. A lot of the times it's crystals because the crystals are lightweight. They hold energy pretty well for healing and for releasing energy and for sensing where, where something needs to be healed in the body. That's what pendulum work is great for doing when doing healing work. So this is what inspired me to write this book, Crystal Grids, The Art of Healing with Crystals. It's, it's basically uh, a go-to encyclopedia and guide on everything to do with crystals, to do with energy healing. I discuss a bit about Reiki and Reiki symbols and healing with crystals. I discuss how you can incorporate crystals in manifestation when, when you're learning to manifest stuff with crystal grids. Um, how that works with crystal grids and crystals, uh, how you can do home clearing and achieve your goals and accomplishments with creating words of power manifestations together with crystal grids. Because when you do crystal gridding, it's a whole process of, of utilizing um, sacred geometry and symbols along with the crystals. And with that, you create a grid and you can put manifestation into that. Words of power. I also teach a manifestation technique where it's purely your words of power for accomplishing goals and achievements in your life. What's most important to you. And it involves literal manifestation, learning manifestation from above, so below, from the ether into physically manifesti manifesting something that you want to happen, like energetically making it happen. And you, you use words, symbols, and you write stuff. Um, and then you give it to the earth. And you really think about what you want to manifest and how energetically that works. So it's a process. Um, so I discuss that in the book. Uh, I discuss meditation both with crystals and without crystals, learning meditation, um, learning how to work with pendulums for healing, learning how to work with wands for healing, learning how to select crystals that you basically vibrate with on the frequency of the crystal because when you go to select crystals, it's important for the vibration of the crystal to resonate with you and to vibe with you. Um, it's not just a healing tool or a spiritual tool. It's also something that you work with on a personal level with energy vibration. It's attuned to you and you're attuned to it. Um, it's a crystalline energy source, basically. That's what a crystal is. It has a crystalline matrix structure. It grows in the earth and it comes from Mother Earth. And we're, we are very lucky to be able to work with crystals for healing, for spiritual growth. Um, 
I also discuss the chakra system, what the chakras are, how crystals can be utilized to cleanse the chakras and heal the chakras, what the different colors of the chakras are. I also discuss body grids, crystal body grids, how you can utilize crystals to literally create a living crystal grid around your body and heal yourself without needing a practitioner to be there for you. You basically select the crystals that you need for whatever healing that you're doing, your cleanse, energetic cleanse, and you put them, you put the crystals around yourself wherever you feel comfortable, on a Reiki table, a bed, um, whatever you feel comfortable lying on and you put the crystals around you and it's your crystal body grid. So I provide information on how to do that, how to do crystal grids for house protection, grounding, for success, um, for health. Um, I include basically my 70 something grids that I did for, for myself that I've utilized and created uh, in the book. So I show you examples of grids and what sacred geometry is used for that. I describe the different crystals needed for that, the grids I used. Um, so this book is like a precursor for my psychic development course. Um, and again, it took me a year and a half to write this book. And I've been utilizing it in my own uh, healing practice. What I've included in this book as well is a compendium of the different types of crystals, uh, what their healing properties are, what their spiritual properties are. Um, there's information about how to make crystal elixirs, how to work with that. Because crystal elixirs, if you use crystals like citrine, amethyst, clear quartz, rose quartz, you can actually drink those types of healing elixirs. If you put it with water and um, it mineralizes the water with the crystal's properties, then you can drink it. So how to do uh, crystal elixirs in a safe and healthy manner, how to cleanse and charge crystals, how to work with them, how to take care of them for healing, for manifestation, for meditation, working with the chakras. I describe all of that in uh, this book and some of my experiences with um, creating crystal and magic altars and shamanic altars and how that works as well because I am a healer, I'm a shaman, I'm a crystal healer, um, I'm a white light wicca magic practitioner. So I do a lot of different healing modalities and I also do energy healing and Reiki. So I try to incorporate some of those aspects into this book and to really um, describe what it's like to work with crystals, what crystals are and the different healing modalities that you can incorporate crystals into or even psychically work with them. So I try to make this um, basically an encyclopedia of what crystals are and how to work with them and how to select them, how to get to know them and how they help you in your life to heal. So that's what the book is about. It's an encompassing guide of what it's like to, to select crystals, to buy them, um, to experience crystal healing in all its different modalities. It, this book is 350 pages, so it's quite a bit of material covered here. And um, it's definitely an uh, encyclopedia resource, not written like an encyclopedia, I've used a lot of my own photographs and images in this book to try to illustrate the examples of what I talk about and the resources in this book. So it's all about resources, it's all about learning and information about crystals and healing um, and what it's like to learn manifestation when you're utilizing crystals, words of power, 
symbols, sacred geometry. I also try my best to incorporate a lot of sacred geometry and to teach about that in this book as well. Because it's important to know what sacred geometry is and what the symbols are that you're working with. Because you're putting that under your grid. You're literally putting sacred geometry symbols that uh, amplify the crystals and the crystals amplify those symbols. So in a sense, it's like it's pure energy work and manifestation when you're working with crystals and sacred geometry. So that's a huge aspect of knowing what you're working with and um, what are the healing properties of crystals? Like what does each crystal do and how does it work? And how it will be able to help you in your life, whether for manifestation or healing or for other um, ideas that you have for working with the crystals meditating, relaxing with them, just feeling their good energy, um, using them for protection in your house to remove negative energies, to protect yourself from negative vibrations or attacks. So there's a lot of different purposes for what the crystals can do for you and how you can work with them. And I try to go over a lot of that in the book as well as how to cleanse the crystals and to keep them clean and how to energize them. That's very important. Um, what crystals you can wash, what crystals you can't wash, porous crystals, smooth crystals, the type of different crystals there are because there's um, double terminated points. There's also crystal uh, wands there's spheres, there's rough crystals, there's smooth palm stones. There's so many different types of crystals. There's rough crystals. Um, and they all come in different shapes and sizes and colors and what their vibrational energy is and energetics, what they can do for you in terms of healing and energy work. So, um, this encyclopedia basically describes all of that. And I uh, decided to put this ebook out through self publishing on my own website. Um, because honestly, I like to personally know who I'm working with, who's getting the book, ebook, and um, knowing that it'll go to a good person when they buy it because for me books are special ebooks books and print are very special to me i i believe in self-publishing and i believe in learning how to self-publish if you write something learn how to put it out there through your own resources if you want to publish it with some someone like Amazon, that's great, that's fine, you can learn that. I've learned how to do that. But I want to be involved in the process. I want to know um, who's getting the books, who, what they're going to learn from it, like getting to know the person a little bit. So that's just my own personal touch. That's why I love self-publishing and I have this book on my own website. Um, and I'll include the links below if anybody is interested in purchasing the book. It is available from my website. Um, and the information will be down below in the description where you can purchase the book. Um, and the steps for doing that. Because again, this is a great encyclopedia resource. It's also a great guide for learning about crystals and it's not written like an encyclopedia. It's it's written from experience and it's written from somewhat of a scientific point, a little bit of what crystals are like. It's written from a spiritual perspective. It's written from a healer's perspective, what it's like to work with energy and sacred geometry, doing manifestation work. So it's written from a few different perspectives. Um, 
and it gives you a lot of different information on crystals and what you can do with them. So it is 350 pages, so it's like your compendium to everything about crystals. Whatever you'd like to know about crystals, it's in this book because I, I like to put resources together where you don't have to search in so many different places to find something. For me, it should be all in one place. So it's good to have it all in one book. And I've used this ebook um, myself quite a bit for my psychic development course that I'm working on. And just if I'm out somewhere and about, and I, I'm in a crystal store or metaphysical store, I do use this book to look up the different crystal meanings uh, for what what is the properties of the crystal for healing or spirituality or for manifestation. So I've used this book personally to do that. And it, I have it on, um, that's why I like books in ebook format because you can put it on a cell phone, you can put it on a computer, you can put it on a tablet. So you have it with you wherever you go and it's easy to save to different digital formats. So that's why I like ebooks and I like the process of writing an ebook, um, incorporating my own information and experiences incorporating some research, um, the knowledge of what it means to be a healer, to, to be able to work with crystals and to do healing with the practical aspects of what's in this book of energetic healing, um, to have that in the book. So you get practical teaching information of what crystals are, what crystal grids are, what manifestation is with crystals, what meditation is with or without crystals, what the chakras are, uh, sacred geometry. That's all in this book and other things as well. So it's a great uh, learning tool and it's also an information and research tool. So, um, I hope you enjoy this book and um, seeing what it's all about. I have um, a table of contents and information about the book. So I'm just going to show you a bit of the table of contents, introduction, what are crystals, how they work, history of crystals, what are the benefits of crystals, healing people with crystals, choosing and buying crystals, how to cleanse crystals, handling crystals, how to activate and program your crystals, meditating with crystals, how crystals correspond to earth elements. So if you're learning magic and if you're learning energy, it's great to know what the correspondence are to the earth elements because crystals and their colors do correspond to different earth elements. So it's good to know that. What is a crystal grid? How do they work? What are the benefits of crystal grids? Power of your mind with conjunction of crystal grids. That's manifestation, energetic manifestation, manifesting goals technique, types of crystals to use for grids, sacred geometry and types of bases to use for grids. Instructions for creating crystal grids. A few different tips about crystal grids. Um, there's many different layouts for crystal grids. There's the home grids and there's also the body crystal grids. What are body crystal grids? How do they work? Um, I also discussed the Seal of Solomon, Star of David grid and how that's important. Um, amethyst healing layout, that's for the body grids. Aches and pains layout, easing PMT and menstrual cramps. Um, that's another grid. Amethyst for headaches, that's a body grid for the head. There's a foot layout, there's a chakra layout. Um, explanation of the chakra purposes 
what the chakras are, crystal and essential oils for chakra balancing, empowering affirmations to use for chocolate for chakra clearing with crystals, practical grid recipes for formations, when, because you might be working with different layouts of crystal grids. So um, I give examples of what these different layouts could look like. And you can always change them around. You can personalize them and what the, you want them to look like. I also talk about um, healing wands. What are wands? How are they made with crystals? Healing methods with crystal wands. How to choose a wand. Process of getting to know your wand. How to program a crystal wand. How to cleanse and recharge a crystal wand. Sweeping away built up energies from the auric field with the wands. Pictures of various healing wands because I've made wands before in the past with crystals. Uh, I also discuss gemstone elixirs and how to make them. How to make gemstone elixirs, preserving the gemstone elixir, um, dosage of how much to take of a gem elixir, how to use gemstone elixirs, empower your gemstone elixir, gemstone elixir recipes, charging crystals after using a gemstone elixir, um, also discussing potentially toxic or harmful crystals, which you should not put in an elixir. Because again, crystals come in many different shapes and forms and sizes. So some of them are good to just use in meditation and in your crystal grids, but you shouldn't ingest them in elixirs. Also safety guidelines for using crystals for making gem elixirs, what crystals you can use and what you can't use. It's very important to know that information. Um, working with pendulums to heal the chakras. So it's important to know what you're working with, what type of pendulums to heal the chakras. And this is primarily talking about crystals um, and how they're utilized as pendulums. Basically choosing a pendulum, cleansing a pendulum, recharging a pendulum, getting to know a, a pendulum, the different types of crystals that you can use for pendulums. Um, preparing for a healing with a pendulum, holding the pendulum, going over the chakras, allowing the pendulum to move because it moves in different uh, directions. Explanation of the pendulum movements, healing a blocked chakra point, cleansing the pendulum and the healer when finished after a healing. Um, I discuss the different crystal properties and their uses. Um, there's also something called crystal healing grid nets. That's very interesting information. I discuss assembling crystals for a healing kit because um, some healers like to have healing kits for when they work with crystals to, to be available for them. That's actually something that I have myself. I have many different types of crystals that um, I use for the healing kits that are my own personal crystals uh, that I put in the crystal grids. And they're all labeled because I always make sure I have at hand different crystal types for the crystal grids that I do in the body grids. So. Um, and that's something that's very personalized to you, what your healing kit will look like and be. I also discuss how to transport crystals. Um, because crystals, some, some crystals are very delicate, so they have to be stored in a separate, in a certain way when they're being moved around, or if you're moving yourself. Um, so there's a certain way of storing and packing crystals. Um, and there's very hardy crystals that um, don't require so much packing and packaging when you move it around. So that's important to know as well, um, in my opinion. So this is basically the um, table of contents for what's in my book. 
and the layout of it. I thought I would share that with you since I'm talking about this book, Crystal Grids, The Art of Healing with Crystals. So it's important to know what's in the book and how it's structured. Um, yeah, so this is basically Crystal Grids, The Art of Healing with Crystals, and what it's all about. So thank you so much and namaste.